Go. Go. Hi, welcome to the party of six. And today, say the math. So today we're gonna to talk to you about Schiller Math, which is a Montessori math that we used for our homeschool this past year. And I'm gonna share with you three things that we love about it and three things that we didn't necessarily love about it. These are some of the things that come with your Schiller Math when you buy it. Do you wanna see this part? Yeah. So this is a ball that we yeah. use to help it's with math facts. It's super squishy. <laughs> the way that we purchased this is you can purchase it with the teacher's answer guide, but you can go and download that on the internet. So we just purchased the books instead of having an extra set of books. So it's very good and tells you what it is that you need to do. So at the top of the book, the top of the page, it tells you what manipulatives you need to have for the day, and then it tells you what to say, what to do, all of that. So it's very self-explanatory, very hands-on, so it was great for showing the kids. No, hold on. So it's great for showing the kids ones, and tens, and hundreds, and a thousand. And then they used the number cards. You wanna see this one? Then they yeah. used the number cards to that they send you to show you what number it is that you have handed them. So it's really great to incorporate lots of different types of learning. Um, it's our kids learn best when they have a little piece of all of the different types of learning. So it was great with that. They do different things even with dominoes, with dice. Anything that has numbers to show you that numbers are all around us and that's how we learn. One of the things that we loved is all of these manipulatives. That was great. I'm a visual learner and so this is right up my alley. Um, and so having those in my hands to actually show the kids, it was like a light bulb went off. So that was really good. Um, another thing that we loved um, is that it was timed by their age. So each child would do, and it tells you in the books um, when you first read it, how to start them. So for example, Bryson was um, in first grade, seven between seven and eight, and he was doing 25 minutes a day of math. And Brayden, who's in fifth grade, was doing 45 minutes a day of math. So we would set a timer for those minutes, and then when the timer went off, then we were done. And the goal is, not to look at the timer, just to do as many lessons as you can and then to write down the number of lessons that you got done. And you would just continue through the book like that. Um, Bryson actually in first grade got well past level one and was in level two. Another thing that we loved is that it, the CD that came with it. So did you love the songs? Yep. Yes, we loved the songs. So it tells you in here what songs go with what you're and, learning to help build on that. And also and, that's another way of learning. And there's a donkey song and it's so funny. So we even put that in the van so that we could listen to the CD uh, and help to build on those principles. Right, left, right, right left, left, right, left, right, right left. left. So the other thing that I love is they're really good with helping you and they have webinars that they do every Tuesday, like workshops to help you. Um, and they're just a really good company. So that's one of the other things that we really loved about it. Some of the things that I didn't absolutely love was having to sit and do the whole lesson with the kids. So we have four kiddos and that's a lot to sit 45 minutes with one kid and 25 minutes with another kid. Not being able to get up and we have little ones that would need things you know they're still they're pretty independent they just turned four but they're also still pretty independent so that was kind of a struggle that i had this year with this particular curriculum curriculum yeah um, and we were three yes and, and you were we three did. and now you just turned four right great job number two um lots of things so there's lots of manipulatives which is great but there's lots of manip manipulatives. 
So it's kind of a double-edged sword. So for example, when it was math time, I would have to have the other child go do whatever it was they were working on in the other room so that I could have all of the table or a lot of the table so I could spread this out and we could learn. So, you know, that was um, kind of a downside as well. Number three. So the third thing, one more. So the third thing that we didn't necessarily love was I had to look some things up. So there were lots of instances, especially with Brayden, who was in fifth grade, where I didn't remember learning those things or um, I learned them differently. Math was never my strong suit anyway. So that's something that I kind of struggled with. On their answer guide, it gives you the answer and gives you a little bit of information on how to come to that, but there were things still that were I wasn't sure of. So uh, I would say that that was a downside for mom who was not strong in math. However, dad is very strong in math, so there were often times that we would refer to him and he would be able to help Brayden if he wasn't traveling. So, all right, well, those are three things that we loved about Schiller math three things that we didn't necessarily love. So if you have tried Schiller Math, let us know down in the comments and let us know your things that you loved and didn't necessarily love, or if there are ways around it. If you know of something that I don't, please share. Hi. And we'll <laughs> see you real soon. And yep, and we'll see you real soon. See you real soon. Don't Bye. forget to subscribe. Don't forget, subscribe.